Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh once again and today I'm gonna feature a very very useful software from iSkySoft. With this you can backup and transfer your social media apps like WhatsApp, Kik, Line, Viber, WeChat. I think it's a must have for all of you guys. It's basically one of the tools of the iSkySoft toolbox. It's called Restore Social App and when you are switching to a new device you can transfer all of your social messages which includes your text, your photos, videos, your files and the most interesting part is if you are an iOS user and switching to Android, you can transfer without any restrictions or complications. It's a very very simple process, I will give you a demo shortly. Even if you are not switching to a new phone, you can take backup of your important messages and files to your computer and restore to your iPhone or iPad anytime you want. You can download the software free of cost, check the description below for the download link. Of course, you can take backups of your messages to your iCloud, Google Drive or into your phone memory but the thing is, the backup can be flexible with this tool that is with Restore Social app, you can specify which messages or which files you want to take backup to your computer or you want to transfer to your new Android or iOS device. So it's a very handy tool for every smartphone user and also it's very very safe and fast. Let me show you how does this work for WhatsApp. There you have the compatibility list. I'm currently using iPhone XS Max and it should not be a problem. So let's get started. I already have the iSkySoft toolbox installed. This is how it looks very very neat and intuitive. All the popular social apps are listed in different tabs. So let's try WhatsApp. You can transfer WhatsApp messages from iOS to iOS and Android. You can backup WhatsApp messages from your iOS and restore to your iOS as well as Android smartphones. While taking backups, you can also export your photos and videos. So let's connect my iPhone to my computer. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes installed into your PC and also click on trust this computer on your phone. There you go, the backup has started. It's as simple as that. There is basically nothing to do, no technical knowledge needed. Your entire WhatsApp messages including your text messages, your audio files, your video files, photos and also documents can be exported to your computer and before you do that you can also specify the contacts and also the files. So let's wait for this to finish. It takes few minutes uh, if you have too many contacts then about 5 minutes max. There you go the backup is finished and let's view the files. There you go the top one is the current backup and the interesting fact is this software also retrieved the WhatsApp messages of my old iPhone 6s Plus I had back in 2015. Now you can choose which files you want to take backup to your computer and uh, I'm not currently using my iPhone as my daily driver so there are only few files showing up here, just one demo contact. So this is how the messages look like and you can select which messages you want to take backup and you can of course select contact wise. So now export to your PC as an HTML file just like that. So this is the backup on your computer and you can use this file to restore the WhatsApp images to your iPad, iPhone or any Android phone. Let me actually show you how to restore the file. So let's disconnect my iPhone and connect my iPad. Now my iPad is connected and I have selected the files I want to restore so let's see what happens. Now the restoration can be started just with a single click. Now it's worth mentioning if you have find my iPhone enabled on your iOS device then turn this off to make this work. Guys let's now try an Android device. I'm also reconnecting my iPhone and the Android device is the Galaxy S9 Plus. So let me show you how to transfer WhatsApp messages from an iOS device to an Android smartphone. 
Now for Android phones, you have to enable USB debugging using developer options and I hope you know how to do that. For Samsung devices and most of the phones, you have to tap the build number 7 times which will enable the developer options then enable USB debugging. So after enabling that, let's retry and it's being connected. The transfer as well as the restoration process is the same as iOS to iOS. Just select the files and click on restore to device. There you have the connected Android smartphone that is the Galaxy S9 Plus. So select and click next. It's now ready so let's restore. Now if you have ever logged into the Google Play account then enter the account email ID. Now the process has started so this is how it works. The transfer is now complete so when you start WhatsApp, skip restore backup from the drive. So indeed this iSkysoft toolbox restore social app is a very nifty tool for your smartphones. You can try this free, check the description below for the download link and to buy this software you have to spend just $20 which is actually quite cheap. But I would suggest you to go for the lifetime license at just 30 US dollars. That's all in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. This was a sponsored review by the way. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a nice day.